Hi everyone. Um, yesterday, I read an article in Science Magazine that had some of the dumbest comments in it I have ever heard in my life. Here's the headline. Republican lawmaker. Rocks tumbling into ocean causing sea level rise. How do these people manage to put their pants on in the morning? Seriously, how, how do they manage to get one leg into one hole and one leg into the other? <sighs> this was from a House of Representatives Science, Space and Technology Committee, day before yesterday. And it says the lawmakers at times embraced research that questions mainstream climate science during a hearing on how technology can be used to address global warming. So the whole point of the meeting was to see how technology could address global warming. A leading climate scientist testifying before the panel spent much of the two hours correcting mis misstatements. The purpose of the hearing was to focus on how technology could be deployed for climate change adaption, but the hearing frequently turned into the basics of climate science, as they always do. Many of the questions by Republicans and Democrats alike were di directed to Philip Duffy, President of the Woods Hole Research Center in Massachusetts and former senior advisor to the United States Global Change, uh, Change Research Program. So this is a, an expert in his field. You would think that they would listen to his advice. Not so. Representative Dana Rohrabacher, I think that's how you, spell, uh, you pronounce his name, said he was bothered that established climate science had not been questioned more by the committee which has accused federal climate scientists of fraudulently manipulating climate data and subpoenaed their records. Yeah, they're fraudulently manipulating it just to get all this money from China and they're all living in mansions somewhere in Orange County as a result. I'm a little bit disturbed by number one, over and over again I hear, don't ever talk about whether mankind is the main cause of temperature changing and the climate changing, he said. That's a little disturbing to hear constantly beating into our heads in a science committee meeting when basically we should be open to all different points of view. No, you moron. You absolute cretin. You don't listen to a point of view, you listen to the facts from the experts. Your opinion does not equal facts. <sighs> Representative Lamar Smith from Texas, chairman of the committee, so this is the chairman. I'm going to come back to him at the end of this. Entered into the record an opinion piece, an opinion piece published in the Wall Street Journal yesterday that claims sea levels are not rising because of climate change, a view that rejects thousands of scientific studies. The piece was written by Fred Singer, who is affiliated with the Heartland Institute in Chicago, Illinois, which promotes the rejection of mainstream climate science. So of course the article is going to be against the findings of climate science if he's, that's what he's paid to do. To solve climate change, uh, science, I'll, I'll put my teeth in and start that again. To solve climate change challenges, we first need to acknowledge the uncertainties that exist, Smith said in his open remarks. Then we can have confidence that innovations and technology will enable us to mitigate any adverse consequences of climate change. At one point, Smith showed a slide of two charts that he said demonstrated how the rate of sea level rise does not equate, does not equal the sharp spike in the consumption of fossil fuels. So this is Lamar Smith, the chairman of the committee, showing a slide to an expert saying, you're wrong, look, these two things say it doesn't happen. He's saying that to an expert. When Smith pointed out the rates of sea level rise have only increased slightly compared with the rate of fossil fuel use, Duffy pointed out that his chart was from a single tide gauge station near San Francisco and that sea levels rise at different rates around the world. Of course they do. Any eight-year-old will know that. Smith did not show rising atmospheric CO2 levels or temperatures, both of which have climbed steadily in recent decades as emissions have increased. And this is what they do. They'll 
find some opinion piece or find two pieces that they think, oh, these, these show that climate change doesn't, and they'll ignore any evidence, all evidence, that says man-made climate change exists. I'll come back to him at the end, because he's the chairman of the committee, remember. But this guy, Representative Mo Brooks of Alabama, was the dumbest of the lot. Mo Brooks questioned Duffy on the factors that contributed to sea level rise, pointing out that land subsidence plays a role as well as human activity. Land subsidence. Brooks then said that erosion plays a significant role in sea level rise, which is not an idea embraced by mainstream climate researchers, you think? He said the California coastline and the White Cliffs of Dover tumble into the sea every year. And that contributes to sea level rise. He also said the silt washing into the ocean from the world's major rivers, including the Mississippi, the Amazon and the Nile, is contributing to sea level rise. Right. To a certain degree, he is right, although it's the dumbest statement I've ever heard on climate change. If you throw a grain of sand into a swimming pool, it's going to rise because of displacement, but the effect will be absolutely minuscule. He, goes on to say, he went on to say, every time you have that soil or rock, I'm, I'm, this is word for word what he said, every time you have that soil or rock or whatever it is that deposited into the seas, that forces the sea level to rise because now you have less space in those oceans because the bottom is moving up. You have less space in the oceans because the bottom is moving up. We're meant to take this guy's word for <laughs> what's happening with sea level rises over an expert when he says things like because now you have less space in those oceans because the bottom is moving up ay 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 Duffy responded I'm pretty sure that on human timescales those are minuscule effects you're not kidding there were other comments such as Bill Posey um, referencing a fake Time magazine cover uh, that's been made into a meme and and asking how carbon dioxide could be captured in the ice when that was before man was along as if carbon dioxide didn't exist then it's like no it comes from the plants and the decaying material you absolute moron and oh it was just it's horrific I'll leave a link to the full article down there so you can read it it's been picked up by CNN and a few other mainstream uh, media at the outlets today. But the thing is, these politicians seem to think that their opinions are more important than the facts. And this is a problem that we, we live in the world today. People seem to think their opinions are more important than facts of things. So I'm going to give a fact here and then I'm going to give an opinion to end this video. The fact is this, Lamar Smith, who headed up that committee, since 1989 he's been a representative and his top contributor, oil and gas industry. There's the fact. The opinion is You've a useful idiot, Lamar Smith, who's been bought and paid for by the industry that will be hurt if we move away from fossil fuels. You're meant to represent the people. You sell out son of a bitch. You're not meant to represent the people who fund your campaigns. What a dumbass. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, please subscribe and please click the bell down there so you get a notification of when I drop further videos. Otherwise, YouTube will hide the video from you. Yes, they have admitted that they do that. Also, we're facing an absolute onslaught in independent media from the establishment at the moment, including YouTube. I don't make any money from YouTube whatsoever. I rely totally on the audience for me to continue doing this. So if you can afford to send me $2, $3, $5, whatever it is that you can afford through Patreon, again, the link is down there, I will be eternally grateful and it will allow me to keep giving you the truth and cut through the propaganda and the BS that we get from the corporate and establishment media. 
If you can't afford to do it, please share the video as widely as wide as you can. Talk to your friends and family about the issues that I and other channels on YouTube who are independent raise. Thanks very much for your support. We have to fight back against this. Till next time, peace and take care.